Yo, Elliot. Hey, we got this question from our buddy Bennett Carr. He, uh, he saw a comment that I put up on my Facebook wall a couple days ago that said strengthening your triceps will increase your bench press better than strengthening your chest to increase your triceps. And um, this is sort of common knowledge amongst most power lifters uh, that you wanna strengthen the triceps. If you notice a lot of power lifters don't necessarily have big bodybuilding chests, but they have these gigantic triceps because the bigger and stronger your tricep is, the better your bench press will be. And in the sport of power lifting, it's all about how much you can bench press. So, um, so Bennett took that advice. He's heard, hey man, if I can strengthen my triceps, my bench press is gonna go up because my bench press sucks right now. And he designed a workout to support this new idea that the stronger his triceps will be, the better his bench press will be. So, uh, he, so I wanna tell you his workout real quick. Now Bennett, I'm not making fun of you. Um, I just wanna shed light on how crazy your workout is. Cause uh, Bennett's other question is, why am I so damn sore? So Bennett went ahead and did bench press for five sets of five. Then he did overhead press, five sets of five. Then he did dips to failure with isometric holes for three sets. Then he did dumbbell pullovers, tricep extension for three sets of 10. And then along with his abdominal routine, he did three sets of failure with the push up. So long story short, with regard to the program that you've you've written out. Dude, you did, you definitely overdid it. You definitely went crazy when you heard that advice. So you've got two exercises that are strength based for the most part. You've got your bench press and your overhead press. Those are standard presses. And you're doing a shitload of volume with just them. Five by five in anything is a lot of volume and it's heavy enough that it's, uh, it's going to challenge your nervous system. So to do, to do five by five on your bench press and then five by five on your overhead press, cool, it's tough, I, 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 I don't do it very often. The volume's just way too high for strength, right? Because that's really your goal here, strength, not necessarily bodybuilding. Then you do two burnout sets, like bodybuilding burnout sets where you're, not one, but two, where you're going to failure and you're doing isometric holds and you also have tricep isolation exercises in there. So you've, you've went across the spectrum. You've got the right idea. Build strength, build muscle, isolate, do all those things to get the triceps stronger, but you've just jammed it into one freaking workout, destroyed yourself, and like you say now, you, you, you can't train, for, it's been two days, and you can't even do your pull workout because it hurts to the touch. So what I'll offer you here is a way to restructure that bench press workout, right? Because again, that's what our goal here is. It's not necessarily muscle building because you've added a lot of different things here. Performance and muscle building are two different things. So we're gonna restructure it so that the performance is what's going to go up. Your bench pressability is going to go up, right? The very first thing, the very first exercise, your five by five on the bench press, awesome. I wouldn't touch that. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mess with that at all. But then what I would do, instead of doing another five by five for the overhead press, I would bring it down to about two to three sets of six reps. So now you're getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a bodybuilding dimension to the workout, right? You've got your powerlifting, you've got your bodybuilding, one exercise powerlifting, one one exercise bodybuilding, and then I would go into either an isolation or a speed exercise. So you can do your your tricep extensions for the third exercise, right? Again, I'd probably go with that. I'd probably go three, four sets of about six to eight reps. You can do that. Or you could do something like speed push-ups, right? So you're, where you're, you're getting down to a push-up, you're going as fast as you can. You're not burning out, you're not going to failure. You're not going to failure with any of these, really. You're going as fast as you can with the push-ups, maybe for four reps, three reps, pause for 20 seconds, do it again. And do that maybe eight times. Bang, 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 it should be as fast as you can, it should be fresh every single time. Right, so this is a hybrid approach to strength building. You're doing the nervous system work with the five by five, and even that's kind of high. You might go you know, like five sets of two. I always talk about this, three sets of three. Five sets of five is okay though, right? Depending on how much muscle you want to build. Then you're doing the, the bodybuilding type rep range, and then you're following it up with either an isolation exercise, which is still bodybuilding, or some speed performance. That's really a hybrid approach. It's really attacking your nervous system and your muscle from multiple angles in order to build that strength. And it's the way I do it. 
It's the way I do things when I'm trying to build muscle and strength in any particular movement, right? It's not necessarily pound all of the accessory exercises with the same parameters. It's hit the strength, hit the muscle, hit the speed. Because those are really the, the three things that are going to support you in your strength. Hope that helps, dude. Think in those terms when you guys are designing strength programs. Think nervous system, muscle, and speed, which is, you know, a function of strength in the nervous system. So, but you want to hit those three things. Nervous system, argh, heavy, muscle, getting a pump, speed, throwing things, jumping, stuff, things of that nature. So I hope that's helpful. Guys, it's just one more idea that might support you in growing stronger. Talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot.